Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello. It is Pixel Partners here. And welcome back to Dang Rapid V3 with the Kaede free time events with towards the main character. Heck yeah. It's time to spend time with more people. And so today we're going to go with, with a whole bunch of new cast of characters. The first one up being Kaito. Kaito. Where are you at, buddy? Uh, let's find you somewhere. Okay, Kaito, he's in the lunchroom. We can get there. Lunchroom. Oh, uh, lunchroom. There it is. All right. Dining hall, as they call it. <laughs> All right. Hi, Kaito. You know... The time limit, huh? Oh, yeah, that. He wants us to play this killing game so badly he's doing this. Yeah, everyone's distraught right. a little bit. Mm. Now, let's look around and make sure the others aren't doing anything suspicious. I saw Rintaro in the library again. <laughs> well, they, every time you start, like, they're in the same place when you go through each thing. And it's just so ironic. Yeah. Oh, let's spend some time with Kaito. All right. Grew a little closer. Present. Does he like the punching bag thing? No. Fuck, what does he want? Milk puzzle? Do we have any more of those? We have one. There's one left. What else does he like? Uh, how many of the Splatoon We've got Vogue's tons of those. He can have? take Splatoon Vogue. Okay. We got four of them. He so. loves them. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Huh? You giving this to me? Okay. But thanks. It's just I expected for you to give me something like this. <laughs> hey, That's what's so mean. <laughs> Probably not expecting it from a girl. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Katie, hey, you teach me to play piano. Huh? Huh? What's the matter? What? Why are you so surprised? Because I was already planning on teaching Shuichi, but you know it's fine. Because <laughs> I never would have guessed you'd be interested in playing the piano. Uh, oh, but I'm happy that you're interested. I'll definitely teach you. Really? Thanks. Be a big help once you get to space. Huh? Playing the piano is going to help you when you go to space? Of course. Of course. <laughs> what if I meet an alien? Oh. Got to seduce it. I, I sorry. I, I don't. What? I don't. I don't follow. I mean, do aliens even exist? I'm sure if they did, it'd be a world-changing event, right? That's right. Well, we haven't confirmed any, but it's so to think that humans are alone in this vast universe. Huh. Plus, isn't it more exciting to think there's that, that they're out there somewhere? Exciting, huh? Well, I guess. Um, so if there are aliens, do you want to try to communicate using the piano, like in that boop, one movie? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Not just piano, any music, even signal work. Communicate by singing. It's been watching too much anime. Hey. What's with that face? You think it's impossible, don't you? I think it's totally impossible to totally I, possible. I think it's totally possible to communicate with music. After all, there's music on the Voyager Golden Record. Uh, the Voyager Golden Record? Come on. Man. Oh, what you never heard of it? Ah. Well, I guess it was a while ago, so it's not that weird you wouldn't know about it. Hey. Were these Voyager Golden Records sold in stores back in the day? I mean It wasn't sold, it was shot up into space. Huh? Just shot up? Yeah. It was put into a spacecraft called the Voyager. It was messages and the aliens that found it. Had greetings and a bunch of languages, images of landscapes, and also music. Oh, I didn't know they did that. I mean, There's another spacecraft called the Pioneer that had a message on a plaque. The Voyager and Pioneer were sent to the ends of the universe. They're still going. If aliens do find them. They might try to analyze the record and contact Earth. I see. Contact with aliens, huh? Maybe it'll happen Got one it. day. Yeah, um, in the not too distant future, in fact, I kind of own a luminary of the stars. Will be the first human ever come in contact with an alien. Where does he get this confidence from? The communicating with the aliens by music. That might be possible. I know well that music can transcend words and language to unite hearts as one. Oh god, I'm starting to sound like a hopeless romantic like Kaito. Oh <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think she just does the parting ways after yeah. things, so. Alright. Next one. Alright, where are you sitting at again, buddy? We learned where about at, buddy? that over there. At some point, didn't we? About what? We were, we were watching some kind of TV show and they were talking about sending that up into space. What's I think I might have seen it. I think I might have learned that back in school, but I don't know. What's wrong? You got something you want to talk to me about? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Got it. Yeah, you can tell me anything. It may not look like but I'm a great listener. Well then. Hopefully you've got something to say today. Yeah. Spend some time listening to Kaito, despite him telling me he was a good listener. <laughs> I'm a great listener, listening to my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Present. 
Um, what was it again? Splatine Vogue. Oh yeah, the Splatine Vogue. All right, here you go. Huh? Yeah, miss me? Okay. Yeah, it's a miss. Please. You know. Oh, okay. I've been thinking for a while, but Kaede, you make a pretty good astronaut. Huh? Who me? But why? Got it. First off, you're able to both cooperate with people and lead them. I haven't even had to rally anyone here together yet because you beat me to it. Um, it is that so? So. But you do tend to go ahead on your own sometimes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Compared to me, you've still got a lot to learn. I'm gonna make you my sidekick. Jeez. Should you really be suggesting that when you're still a trainee? Hey, so. So what do you think? You want to try taking the astronaut exam once we get out of here? Hmm. But I'm still in high school. Don't you need a college degree to become an astronaut? Got it. That's okay, you can just ask a guy I know and we can get you in. Jeez, you can't do that. You're an exception to an exception, aren't you? Besides, I'm not that interested in space. I'm sure others would be more suited. I see. I see. Well, that's fine if you're not just interested. After all, the universe is a harsh place. Only a few people can go up there right now. But once we astronauts open up the path into space, huh. people with artistic skills like you will be able to go there too. Huh? Really? Yeah. For sure. I'm gonna take the culture that grew on Earth and spread it across the universe. Hey, so. What do you think? You wanna follow in my footsteps now? I'd rather stay on Earth, <laughs> or. Yeah, that'd be amazing, or. They need a pianist. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Do, do they need one? Let's find out. Um. Do they need a pianist? Hey! What are you saying? Don't overthink things. There's any unnecessary art or technology in this whole world. <laughs> like I said before, I'm sure that music will travel across the universe and connect all life. You can. You could work towards that. See, so isn't it exciting just thinking about it? You know, um, you might get mad at what I'm about to say, but... Huh? What's wrong? I won't get mad, so just say it. Um, I thought you just wanted to travel to space and that's it. But you're already thinking about what you'll do afterward. Huh. Of course. I'll create a path for the people who come after me. That's my role. I promise I'll make a path out of here too. So don't worry. Yeah. Oh, okay. He tried to convince me of convince me of his goals despite having no way to pull them off. Only Kaito could be this confident without a plan. Huh? Yeah. All right then. Well, Kaido, thank you for the words of inspiration. And now that we've done that, it's Ding Dong Bing Bong time, which Neat. means it's also saving and reload time. God. Drunk Mana Kid, love and miss you, dude. <laughs> I had to watch you die twice. It sucks, man. Yeah. I'd watch all of them die twice, actually, so. <laughs> all right, save, and then we go back in. That's the, I need to go to the main menu so I can reload the fucking thing. There we go over there. And I'm also gonna try and remember who the hell I said was At gonna be the, the second At least the second time person. was only an explosion, though. The others right. were actually legit execution. Yeah. Well, they 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 got, unfortunately, became part of executions. Well, they were during, <laughs> like they were animated and yeah. all that. Okay. Next up, we have Sumugi. Where will that's? I keep going to the wrong spot. Where is Sumugi? Over here in the hallway somewhere. In the in the in the in the in the lobby area. In the in the in the in the. Yeah, that. Hey there. What's up? What's up? Um, I thought about it a lot, but the only answer I came up with is that nothing can be done. <laughs> Let's go spend some time. Yeah. Yeah, being by myself makes me feel just plain lonely. Oh, okay. <laughs> At least you got mother cover. I mean, God. what? <laughs> well then, move a little closer. Let's go. Uh, give you a present. What the hell she want? Uh, I oh, got a couple sewing kits, so we can give those to her. She loves those. Right? Yeah. There you go. Here's one of them for you. What is this? You give this to me? Stop drooling. Thank you, thank you so much. Those are the only words I can say. Hey. Hey, Sumugi. I don't know much about cosplay, but it's basically like bringing a fictional character to life, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's correct. Hmm. hmm. What? But why do you look so bothered? Um. I don't really get why you'd go through all that just to bring a character to life. Well, I guess I always wanted to be a cool hero or princess. I can see why you'd want to wear their clothes. As a kid, I want to dress like a princess. Right! Yeah, that's right. That's why people want to try cosplay. Sorry. Sorry, I don't. What? You don't? How oh, mean. You betrayed my feelings. Oh, my huh? God. <laughs> betrayed? Huh? You don't understand cosplay after all. 
Jeez, I thought it was just plain obvious. Huh? What, what do you mean I don't understand? Uh, oh, don't worry about it. I'm not mad or anything. Just disappointed. Uh, <laughs> um, why do I want to be? What do I want to become fictional characters? If I had to give a reason. Um, because they're there. Uh, what? <laughs> why are you treating it as if it's like climbing a mountain? Yeah. It's the same feeling. Not a rational reason. Nobody who cosplays is rational. <laughs> you feel the same way if someone asked you why you like piano, right, Katie? Sorry. No, I'd be able to explain. What? You... Hey, fuck you! <laughs> You'd be able to explain? Because... Of course, it's fun to play the piano, but the real reason I play is to see people smile. What? But a pure answer! Those are without a doubt the words of a main character. <laughs> a plain background character like me can do your heroine, Aura Kayede. Huh? Drew and aura? I don't right. do drugs. No. Wait, that's it. I've got it. Um, what? It's from that one thing. The reason why you aren't interested in becoming fictional characters, it's because being the ultimate ultimate pianist is already pretty fiction like to begin with. <laughs> huh? But I'm real. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you to say, but, but what did you say right there? Like you promised. Huh? What promise? <laughs> I, you really are pure. What is this? It's your brain pure for a corrupted denizen of the night like me! Ah, bright! Huh? What the f I'm so confused. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Shuichi! <laughs> no! Should You're on your own. I'm I going to the dinner. No. I'm going dining hall. You have fun with should, that. That looks fun. Should cosplayers be way flashier than that? <laughs> Katie, we're pretty in tune. I didn't think we'd hang out for so long. <laughs> You're pretty in tune yourself, Sumergi. Um, Whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, I think communication like this is necessary for cosplayers. Mm -hmm. I guess that is true for cosplayers. That was the weirdest fucking thing <laughs> I've ever witnessed in my life. <laughs> yeah! All right. After listening to Sumergi's cosplay stories, I parted ways with her and returned to my room. They just had a moment. I don't know if it was good or bad, but they had a moment. <laughs> yeah. I think it was both. <laughs> but I'm real! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. As much as right here. Okay. Where are you, where are you at again? Sumagoo. Sumagoo. You like calling her that. That was a wall. I like just saying anything that's fun. Sumagoo. Okay. Sumagoo! Okay. Sumagoo. <laughs> what's going on over here? Hey. I wonder if there's a way to destroy an entire hard drive from here. What? Okay. Oh, because at home. Gotcha. Yeah. How troubling. I never thought I'd get caught up in something like this. If I could delete those pictures. Oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck are you mumbling about? I'm sometimes trying to cheer up a gloomy smoogie. Well, then. All right. Get a little closer today. Present time. Sewing kit. Don't steal this from me and run off. <laughs> Please. What? I can have this, really? Yes. I mean, no one else here can even appreciate this like I can. You can have it as long as you don't run away. <sighs> Good. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you okay, Smoogie? You look down. Because <sighs> there's no internet or TV or manga here. Cut off from all my sources of my energy. I'm starting to waste away. There's some anime in the AV room, but I need some fresh moe energy. Uh, <laughs> she's she's actually depressed. Hey. Hey, Smoogie, do you have any other hobbies? I saw a lot of stuff in the warehouse, so maybe you can find some other things to do in there. What? Other things? You fucking insane? <laughs> what is this? Like what? I can't think of anything. Huh? Oh my god, she's okay. <laughs> like what what like 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 nothing? <laughs> I just realized, without cosplaying my otaku hobbies, I've got nothing left! Wait, hold on. I'm worried about Samugi, but now that I think about it... Uh, not the piano! I'd have nothing left either! They both just start screaming. That's right! Samugi, let's find another hobby! Right? <laughs> yeah, I agree. We both need to have interest outside of our talents! <laughs> another hobby! <laughs> so how about baking? Or reading? Or going out to cafes? <laughs> It's girl time. Going up to cafes. 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 It's girl time. Hey, I want to go to a cafe now. <laughs> How about going out to cafes? What? Going to cafes? Isn't that too high of a hurdle to jump? Huh? 
Huh? Is it too expensive for you? I thought it'd be good so that we could walk there too. Um, I'm usually indoors all the time, so being outdoors is just plain difficult. Felt all that. Right? <laughs> and even more reason to go. You gotta try something new. Uh, um, you're right. I won't be alone, so it might be a good opportunity. All right. After we get out of here, let's do it together, Sumugi. Uh, yeah. What's the matter? What's the matter? You don't sound too excited. No. No, that's not it. I was just thinking it's strange. You're a pianist and I'm a cosplayer, right? We're from completely different worlds, and yet... We're talking about sharing a hobby. But that's not a bad thing. This will be the start of a new story. She's right. Of course, I'm not happy with realizing I'd be nothing without the piano. I have an existential crisis. <laughs> but now I know there will be new stories I can experience from this encounter. And then she's going to frame you for murder. <laughs> spoiler alert. You're supposed to say spoiler <laughs> alert before you say the thing. I think everyone that's watching this <laughs> and is watching our videos hopefully knows at this point what's going on. Yeah. I've only said like 15 times in other events too. <laughs> All right. And now that's another one in the books. Monica's going to show up on the screen again. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go through the, that's the wrong button. I went one too far. I'm going to go over here, do the fucking thing where you save. Come on. There we are. We do that. And then we back out and then we go to the main menu. And then we go, uh, I blacked out for a second. We go over here uh, to the free time and we go. And I believe it's going to be Keo next. Oh God, really? Keo. Oh yeah. Time to see how this could go horribly wrong. Oh no. All right. Keo. Is it this time or next time you're standing right outside a room? That's next time. All right. We'll go ahead and uh, <laughs> find you quick then. Where are you at? Keo, buddy. <laughs> Where the fuck is he at? Oh, he's hiding in the classroom right now. Oh. Okay. Why does everyone keep showing up in the classrooms? It's just the people we've done so far. Like I said, their positions in the game are always yeah. set no matter what. Hey, buddy. Guess what? Ha -pa. You oh, like that? No. Ha -cha. Ha -cha. So much money! I. <laughs> that one didn't give me anything, so fuck that one. Hey, buddy, you look tall as fuck in that sprite. <laughs> okay. We're on a space far removed from human society, yet we still try to follow its rules. That too is a burden humans must bear. <laughs> Can I spend time with Keo? Sure, how could I that see. go wrong? Yes. <laughs> Excellent, I'll observe your beauty carefully. Um, you know what? On second thought, I forgot I have something I need to do. See if you're a fitting friend for sister. Uh, who? What? My sister. You have a sister? She needs some friends, yes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it would be very nice indeed. What does he want? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is like the story of Tokuno? Tokono, you mean? He Tokono. also likes number 71, a dancing Haniwa. Don't have it. Really? Don't have it. <laughs> um, so. Monkey's Paw. I don't have one of those. I'm going to use the story. Of the story. Tokono. Wonderful. To have brought this to me. You truly have an eye for treasures. No, I just look at the walkthrough. <laughs> it's nothing special. What a wonderful woman you are. I have no complaints with this. Tell me your thoughts. If you'd like, I can tell you this item's history. Are you interested? Um. Listen. <clears throat> Sakaide, you're the ultimate pianist, correct? What's the matter? Yeah, what mm. about it? No. Well, music is an important aspect in anthropology. I see. Oh, that's true. Like folk music. Oh. The kind of folk music you are likely imagining is different from my field of study, though. Um. Huh? It's different? Do you understand? When you think of Japanese folk music, what comes to your mind? Hmm, I guess Japanese court music, like the koto or the flute, music they play during New Year's. I see, yes. Correct. And in, in that those are examples of traditional cultural music of Japan. However, what I research is music created through people's daily lives. Um, what do you mean? Let's see. Hmm, how do I put it? It's a complicated dis distinction, I admit. It's music that was not crafted by the hands of specialists such as musicians. You see. Nursery rhymes, lullabies, songs passed down through generations of mothers. Traditions and events expressed in song, such as a song to remember a disaster. Yes, things like that. Mm -hmm. I see. <clears throat> I kind of get what you mean. Listen. There are many nursery rhymes in children's games whose meanings have been forgotten. 
That meaning is what anthropologists chase. I can tell you about one if you'd like. <laughs> I don't want to hear. It sounds scary. Uh... That terrifies me. There's a song called Going Home. What? <coughs> I think it's her saying she wants to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Kagome Kagome terrifies me. Sure. Uh, Kagome Kagome terrifies me. Yes. Ah, yes, it has a great many different interpretations. It can be scary or tragic. And according to one interpretation, it points to the hidden treasure of the to Tokugawa family. Huh? A hidden treasure? I didn't know that. I wonder if that's true. Let's see. I cannot say for certain if it is the truth, nor can anyone else. But the idea that a certain truth is sealed away in the lyrics of a song is intriguing. I see. But I never would have thought you'd study children's nursery rhymes of all things. Well. It shows just how intertwined music has become with our daily lives. That's right. Yeah, it just means music has always been with humanity, even way back then. <laughs> Such words may seem simple, yet they have profound meaning behind them. Well, Alright. Should look up Kagome Kagome. <laughs> I'm terrified to think <laughs> about it. All I'm sure it's right. on YouTube. Yeah, probably. If it exists. No, sure it, it, exists. it is a real thing. Oh. I've heard of it. Okay, I can't wait to get spooked. <laughs> Alright. Hey there again, Kiyo. You hanging in there, Chief? That's not how I want it. There we go. I see, yes. It seems I'll be able to see a clear picture of human beauty here than ever before. What? Okay. <laughs> okay then. Then I'll tell you about the beauty of humanity I've witnessed thus far. <coughs> okay. So Takio who listened to me talk about investigating the school. That's right, he was intrigued about this all to see how people would react to everything. Yeah. Forgot about that. Perfect study. Like a social for you. experiment. <laughs> exactly. Uh, there's a story. <laughs> wonderful. I have treasures. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful when you are. Tell okay. me your thoughts. Oh, yeah, it. Okay. In any event, I wonder just how long we're to be kept here. Though I certainly enjoy witnessing the beauty of humanity that rises from this situation. You know, Keo, you shouldn't be so negative. How long we're stuck here is up to us. We're all gonna work together and I escape. See. I see, so you've chosen to think in such a positive way. <laughs> that too is beautiful. I'll take that as a compliment, but his chuckle kind of creeps me out. Say. Say, Kaede. You said you'd like to be friends when we escape here, yes? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Tell me your thoughts. Then would it be too <gasps> much to ask you to become friends with my sister as well? Huh? Huh? You have a sister, Kyo? That's correct. Oh, I do. She's a very important person to me. Kyo nodded cheerfully, but for a moment I could see sadness in his eyes. Sister. Sister's always been very sickly. She was in and out of the hospital since we were young. Because of that, she never had the chance to make friends. To hurt me to see her so lonely. Yeah, I see. Listen. I know that it may be a bit much to ask, but I think you'd be an excellent friend for Sister. So, how about it? Of course. You don't even need to ask. I'll definitely be your sister's friend. I mean, anyone would get lonely if they were all by themselves in a hospital. Is that so? Truly? It makes me very happy to hear you say that. Uh, oh, but people call me Piano Freak. Even then, you still want me as her friend? No. That's quite alright. That determination of yours is a bright, shining light that draws others to you. <laughs> You're gonna make me blush if you keep saying stuff like that. Sister. I wonder how Sister will react when she meets you. I look forward to seeing sister's smiling face. Do people ask you if you have a sister complex? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Sister complex, it offends me to have such a term used to describe me. Uh, so, sorry, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I apologize as well. I spoke more harshly than I meant to. So then, I shall arrange a chance for you and sister to meet. <laughs> I need to come up with a good plan. Oh. Yeah. Uh, all right. He needs to come up with a good plan? Oh, maybe he wants to make it a surprise for his sister! Oh, something alright! Kyo is a bit creepy, but at least he's a nice enough person to care about his sister. <laughs> right? Um, I still don't really understand him, though. <laughs> he acts pretty feminine at times. I wonder if that's because of his sister's influence. <laughs> <laughs> God, game. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. 
there's so many things that would have been great to have been able to do before you get yeah. to certain points. And we were like, this is what he meant. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. <laughs> All right, Ding but me it's more. also kind of cool in a way to do it like this now when we have when we have yes. context and we're like, oh, yeah, like because like in the game you might forget about little things like that yeah. when it happens, but with this, you know, you can go in with all the retrospect, mindset. yeah, and you can look at everything and how it reflects back on it and compare everything. Oh, you can look at all the foreshadowing. <clears throat> exactly. Free time. Over here, difficulty doesn't and matter. And the connections that we would not have understood. And now, we have one event left. Yeah. The one that Allie has been waiting for. Yay! <laughs> so, you gotta go to the library. <laughs> An avocado! Thanks! <laughs> right, he's in the library, right? Library, yeah. All right. Walking in the back door. Or is that the front door? I can't remember which door is which door, <laughs> man. Fuck it. Oh, oh why are you there oh, no. get, get away! Get away from there! <laughs> You're gonna want to get away from that spot eventually. I'm worried about you, Kayade. You're working so hard trying to help us. I think you've earned a little break. Should I spend time Yes! <laughs> Absolutely. Then let's take a break together. Spend some time looking at the fountain with Rantaro. <coughs> what fountain in the library? We left the library. <laughs> the fountain of knowledge. <laughs> exactly. Yes. All right. What do you love? Let's I know, see. I mean, we can't do berets because we're all out yeah, of we're all out of berets. Those. We don't have eighteen, do we? Silver earring. No. Nah, because he loves those. He only has a whole ear of them. Um. Silver earring is berets and key of love, the only things that he loves. Fuck. But he likes boba tea. Is boba tea gonna be good enough for you, sir? Please? Might have to do a Thank push through on much. this one. Hmm. Well, this looks really valuable. Are you sure you want me to have it? I'll give you something special one day, too. I have some pretty rare things myself. Hey. Kaede, what are you saying that we should all be friends after we got out? You serious about you're serious about that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Despite these circumstances, I'm happy to have met everyone. I'll treasure, I'll always treasure that. Is that right? I see. Huh? Huh? You don't seem too enthusiastic about the idea, Rantaro. No. no, it's not that. I just have a feeling that you're gonna like kill me or something. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> it would be really happy if I could become friends with you and everyone else. <sighs> but I don't know what my own ultimate talent is. What if it's not something to be proud of, or some kind of useless talent? Even worse, a talent that would make everyone hate me. Um, useless? Make everyone hate you? Have you seen yourself? <laughs> How would a talent like that even work? No. I don't know. You'd be the ultimate murderous fiend for all you know. Huh? M murderous fiend? I doubt it. That would mess up this whole killing game. Well, if I have a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> it could be the reason my memory was wiped, you know? No way. Rantaro definitely would not have that kind of talent. That's right. Oh, but the opposite could be possible too. The opposite? Right? Maybe you're the ultimate mystery writer, and if your memory isn't wiped, you solve all this. But Shuichi's the ultimate detective, and he didn't get his memory wiped. You might be right. Uh, I'm but... sure there's a reason for that. Maybe you're better at deducing than Shuichi is. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be mean to Shuichi. Jeez. You're the one who made me say it. I'm sorry. Okay, you got me. Sorry, I know I'm teasing you. Anyway, I don't know what you're so worried about. You know? No matter what your talent is, I still want to be friends with you. Yeah, that's right. The reason I'm spending time with you has nothing to do with your talent, Rantaro. Thank you very much. Thank you. I also want to get out of here soon to become friends with you all, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. That's right. Once we escape this place, I want to know more about everyone, not just their talents. But I also know also what food they like, what kind of books they read, how they spend their weekends. Uh, oh, and I definitely want to know what kind of music everyone likes. That's right. Yeah, honestly, I can't even imagine what sort of stuff everyone's into. You know, that's why we should all talk more. We may live far apart, but these days there are lots of options for keeping in touch. <laughs> but it would be nice to meet up in person every now and then. That's right. I know! I'll invite you to my next concert! You and everyone else! I'm looking forward to it, Kaede. I want us all to meet again. 
and I'll work hard to make that happen. No, it's not just you though. We all need to work hard together to make that happen. That's right. Yeah, you're right. I'm not gonna do anything. We gotta on my do own. each other. <laughs> That's right. One person's strength may not be enough, but there are sixteen of us here. Oh. For now, and <laughs> then was gonna drop quickly. Oh. Uh, all right. And on that note, that is our batch of free time events for the day. And we'll go on to another set of characters next time. Uh, hey, we got everyone's... Angie's just a stingy fucking <laughs> little bitch from part one. Is just trying to steal all of our shit. Yeah. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. She took so many things and ran. God damn it, Angie. <laughs> Praise be to a tour. Fuck a tour. <laughs> <laughs> and then a tour smites me. <laughs>